Hello and welcome to the video for homework for third grade for uh, Friday, April the 17th, I believe it is. And this will cover uh, the homework from lesson 10.6. So I am going to continue in the same um, thing that I was working with before um, so that I can use this particular page to help us find the measurement. So I'm gonna zoom in just a touch uh, we're working with the even problems. Um, we're not gonna worry about number eight. Um, I think I crossed that out um, because I don't want you guys having to take the time to find 10 colored pencils. This is one that we would also do in the classroom by committee. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. So number two, um, I've attempted to make these as even as possible. Um, now, with that said, it may be a little tricky um, to get everything to snap to to make it easy to make the measurement. So it looks like we're right about three inches for the first one. And then our next one would be number four. And we are going to measure to the nearest quarter inch. So this one's not cooperating very much. This one's working okay. So it looks like we are pretty much right at one and a quarter inches for that so that we can put one and a fourth. And if you decided to put the decimal value uh, 1.25, um, then you get the gold star for today. We will eventually do that, but not this year. Actually, we probably won't do that until either fourth or fifth grade. Um, but if you know that this would be a quarter, same as a dollar amount of 0.25, uh, then you could also do that. Um, so number six, they want us to use a separate sheet of paper, draw eight lines that are between one inch and three inches long. Um, we're not going to worry about that for right now. So if you decided to do that one, I don't even remember if I assigned that one. Um, but if you decided to do that one, uh, whatever you came up with was fine because it would be different based on what you did. So I could make all eight of them the exact same length and there's nothing to stop me from doing that because the directions say that, or the directions do not say that I am uh, allowed to, um, or that I have to make all of them different lengths. That was probably the weirdest way to explain that. So number one, going on the back uh, to the nearest half inch, see which one of these will cooperate with me the best. Uh, this one's all right, except for the part where it kind of snaps out at the end. So it looks like as I'm here, um, if I click on this and start moving it again, uh, that I was closest to uh, the part that would be at, um, it'd be about the same length as the paper clip on this particular page. Um, so that would put us closer uh, to the one and a half mark um, or one and three quarters. So we're going to the nearest half inch. Um, so I would say that we would probably go backward because we're not all the way to one and three quarter inches. So I'm gonna call that one and a half. And then to the nearest quarter inch, I'm going to try to get um, this bottom one here to line up. And it's going to be stubborn, so let's try this one. All right, here we go. So this should give us about two and a quarter inches. So we'll go ahead and write that down. If you got something different because you are working with an actual ruler, um, please don't take this as you did something wrong. Um, I am trying to eyeball it the best I can using the tools that I have available. So um, using the page, you will probably get a much better measurement uh, than I will um, just for the sake that you can actually fold it over and line it up and set it directly next to it. Whereas I'm trying to, um, I'm within a small percentage of having all of the pages exactly the same size. Um, but uh, that being said, all of the things from the lesson worked out. The only thing that was different um, 
was when I made my line plot, I didn't start at zero. So I went to three and a half and they were expecting zero to three. Um, but other than that, everything else worked out fine. So if you have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, please ask in Google Classroom. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you on Monday.